personalities. 110 voted for Messi and 31 for Ronaldo. That is, if we account everybody mentioned. If we Bro, subtract oh the ones who played or coached one or the other to erase any possible conflict of interest, it's now 89 to 10. As for the public, the largest poll on the internet is found on the Messi vs. Ronaldo website. We we'll talk grinding, yeah we shining, we ain't lying, yeah we rising to the top, man. We grinding real hard, no layoff, going hard like LeBron to play off. Let me tell you real talk for the takeoff, we be turned to the man, can't you see it? Young black kings trying to succeed, love my team, Merch cheesy, definitely RTT, yeah. Banger, man. Y'all, this is Renato versus Messi, the best GOAT comparison, man. Make sure y'all like this video before it starts. Subscribe hockey? to the channel if y'all new. This dude talking about hockey? Who? Oh, this dude talking about hockey. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Hockey crazy. So, man, let's get it, man. Since Where the beginning true? of the century, the world of football has been blessed with two of the greatest who have ever played. Yep. They've dominated trophies, statistics, thus debates. Although it's hard to decide who's better, by the end of this video, one guy will have the edge. This is the definitive comparison of Messi and Ronaldo. Messi versus Ronaldo. To find who's the better player, we'll examine four different criteria. Winning, statistics, awards, and the eye test. First off, who has won the most? Winning can't make you the greatest, but it can make you one of the greats. Simply put, winning six Champions League titles like Paolo Maldini will not make you the greatest, but sure a notable figure. With this in mind, three sub points will be awarded in accordance with their three common competitions, European, domestic, and international. Beginning with European, the most prestigious trophy in clubs is the UEFA Champions League title. Ronaldo has won it five times, whereas Messi has won it four times. While this is the official count, we commonly subtract one from Messi since he only started two games of his first official victory. Conversely, Ronaldo's five titles came in his presence, and he won them on two different teams. That's one sub point for Ronaldo. Advancing into domestic titles, Messi has won more league titles, more domestic cups, and more domestic super cups. Hence, there goes one for Messi. International, Ronaldo got that one. International. Lastly, the international numbers. Starting with Messi, let's just say he's a little unfortunate. However, it didn't start out that way. He began his journey by winning the 2005 Under-20 World Cup. He followed by a gold medal at the 08 Olympics. But ultimately, his lack of performance at the 2010 World Cup hurt him. He did individually wield Argentina to the finals of the 2014 World Cup but fell short in extra time against one of the best sides in recent history. He lost again at the 2018 World Cup in the hands of the soon-to-be champions by a score of 4-3. At South America's Continental Tournament, the Copa America, he has never won. In his four presents, he's gone to the finals two times. In each one of these, he lost in penalties. On the other hand, Ronaldo has won two major trophies, the 2016 Euros and the 2019 Nations League. Even though he didn't win a single game in regular time at the 2016 Euros, the mere fact that Portugal won this tournament is enough to give him a point. According to betting websites, Portugal's odds of winning were 20 to 1 at the start. That's one point for Ronaldo, which makes him the winner of my first criterion, winning. My second criterion is statistics and advanced metrics. This part is divided by scoring and shooting, assist and shot creation, and impact on the team's performance. Beginning with scoring and shooting, we notice that Ronaldo has more career goals, but he also played more games. And if we take away penalty goals, Messi already surpassed Ronaldo in 2018. Looking further into it, we find that Messi has a higher average goals per game. 
A common remark regarding their averages is that Ronaldo started his career in a tougher league, being the Premier League. In spite of that, if we only consider the average goals per game in the Champions League, Messi still comes out on top. <laughs> his goals are also more efficient, meaning he scores them on less attempted shots per game. That brings us to accuracy metrics, and yes, Messi has a higher shot on target percentage, which is impressive considering his attempts come in farther from the goal as can be shown by his number of goals outside the box. Furthermore, Messi has a better conversion from just about anywhere on the field. As for free kicks, they share the same number of free kick goals, but percentages and distance tell a different story. Messi has close to twice Ronaldo's free kick conversion and his attempts come in farther than Ronaldo. Also, their path to that number is very different. At the start of his career, Messi was without a doubt a poor free kick shooter. But recently, oh, wait, Messi that seems to have become the best free kick. Yeah, Messi that's was with. That's his left. That's his left foot. And he, he left handed. He left footed. Yeah. Well, left footed. Yeah. yeah, that's his left foot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he left footed. Yeah. It's in the rain though. Doubt a doubt, a poor. Nah. The rain. Do I mean, that. I would do better. The rain. Don't don't do that. Me personally, I think I, 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 there's no way I could do that. Man. I'm at least like, look what a ball I'm at least at. aiming towards the goal. Look what a ball at and look what a net at. Yeah, I'm at least aiming towards the goal. He just, <laughs> he just went out there and kicked that ball. He definitely went out there and said, I'm going to say where, <laughs> how far I can kick this. No, he shouldn't have been kicking that. Nah, Somebody else need to be in that spot. No way, that's him though. Shooter. He was, but nah, recently, he Messi seems to have become the best freaking sober, shooter yeah. ever. Bro. No trending lines could have predicted bro. these latest numbers. He just flipped the switch. Yeah, so he flipped the switch. Like in some, regarding scoring and shooting, even though Ronaldo is frequently referred as the better shooter or finisher, Messi has the highest average goals per game on less attempted shots, he has a better conversion from everywhere, and he's the better free kick shooter. The only right. metric well, in the is conversion. No, why would they do that? No, this video is wild. Yeah, the video he's the better free kick shooter. Wow. The only metric in Ronaldo's favor is his penalty conversion. Inevitably, penalty Messi kicks, has one point. Stopping his penalty kicks. So Messi got him a score. Messi got him a score. For assists and shot creation, Messi has the most assists in many minutes. In contrast to popular beliefs, yeah, Ronaldo did. has some incredible numbers, but in assists, Messi is second to none, as he holds the highest career assist total. Damn. For possession and dribbling, although dribbles pass only exist since 2017, Messi has always been first in every major category. Carries, total distance, total progressive distance, Carries that enter the last third of the pitch, carries that enter the box, and what I'll refer as the messy step, the number of players dribble past. <laughs> Such dribbling and passing abilities help Messi create shot options for his teammates. So of course he's going to be better than Ronaldo in goal creating actions per 90 minutes. But I'd like to point out that Messi doesn't have the highest score here. That feat belongs to Neymar. Similarly, an interesting stat word of showing is expected goals. An expected goal would be a penalty or a tap-in. An unexpected goal would be a free kick or a 20-yard carry. Thus, we measure the number of goals over the number of expected goals. Subsequently, there are some players who have negative expected goals. Bro. That would mean that they didn't capitalize on wide open nets, for example. Alright. Oh. Nah. That they didn't capitalize on wide open nets, Wait, for example. Bro, I'm gonna score that. That's the easiest. So you missed that. I'm gonna score that, bro. He probably would have had a lot of pressure. Scared. Nah. Now he's grown. <laughs> bro. I mean, he kicked it way over. Like, that's bad. Negative. On that note, Messi has by far the better goal over expected goals per 90 minutes. Oh, God. Briefly, being the better passer, dribbler, and playmaker, Messi takes on this point. Damn. As for the impact on the team's performance, we measure it in a statistic called Team Success On-Off. It's like a plus minus type shit, I'm thinking. No, you don't measure a team success off the field. No, no, he's saying like when the player on versus off. Uh, this metric works by taking the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player uh, yeah, is yeah, 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 on right. the pitch, plus minus minutes. the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player is off the pitch. I think Ronaldo got this one. As a result, Messi is at .75 while Ronaldo is at .60. In other words, when Messi is on the pitch, there are .75 more goals being scored. Wait, a playmaker. Nonetheless, this metric is only available since 2014.
If anything, Messi is the winner again. That's tough. In 2019, a Belgian university by the name of KU Leuven published a study titled Actions Speak Louder Than Goals. In this document, the university describes assessing the impact of metrics via machine uh, learning not, in a plethora of data. Not something. Their metrics compound, passes by like distance, dribble planning. by distance, shots by distance, well, free kicks by distance, like, yeah, compound, by passes distance. by distance, oh. dribble by distance, shots by distance, free kicks like, by distance, penalties, oh. penalties, provoke, interceptions, clearances, crosses, fouls, tackles, corners, and many more. There are also other components such as the game state, which calculates the value of an action based on the difficulty of scoring or defending in a game. All of these metrics are Clutchness. unified by the label Soccer Player Action Description Language, or SPADL for short. Thereby, when we multiply the number of actions per 90 minutes and the average value per actions, we get the ultimate number, the VAEP. Unfortunately, players' VAEP have only been calculated for the study's preceding year, which is the 2017-18 season. That said, Ronaldo has a VAEP of 0 .61, but Messi has nearly twice that, at 1.21. As you can see on the board, Messi is not here right now. Now he is. It's looking like they shouldn't be compared. It's honestly looking like they should not be compared. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, go back, go back. Not here right now. Look, listen to this. As you can see on the board, Messi is not here right now. No, now he is. Bro. Bro. Yeah, it's looking like it. Although this was a sample of one single season, that won't be a problem since Messi placed fifth in the Ballon d'Or votes. That was his worst position since 2006, where he was 19 years of age. It's not that Ronaldo's bad, Messi's just really good, and if there's a way to evaluate actions on a pitch, he will tower over everybody else. It's not like Ronaldo bad. As for the VAEP, it wasn't maintained for three different reasons. It's too long, too complicated, and too expensive. Until there's an advanced optical reading software that can read the pitch, 2017-18 will remain the best season for stats, and we know who's at the top. In a few words, as far as stats go, Messi takes another one home. Also, if statistics is the only thing that matters, Messi is not only the greatest player of all time, but the greatest that ever will be. There will probably never be a statistical anomaly like Messi ever again. Mm -mm. That's the same as LeBron. As it's for awards and honors, whether Messi or Ronaldo ends up winning this one, they are by far the two most individually decorated footballers of all time. Definitely. With this in mind, in individual awards, most websites only consider three of them. The FIFA Best, the European Golden Boot, and the Ballon d'Or. Summing these up would tell you that Messi has the edge, but with 13 and 14 awards, they are both lonely at the top. Starting with the Golden Boot, which rewards Europe's top goalscorer, Messi has six while Ronaldo has four. As for the FIFA best, the count is 4-3 in the favor of Ronaldo. For the FIFA Pro World Eleven, or the Team of the Year as FIFA puts it, they both share an outstanding 14 appearances. They Ronaldo they was awarded the IFFHS top goalscorer of the decade, while Messi was awarded the best playmaker of the decade and the best player of the decade. Dang. Messi has won the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball in 2014, which rewards Ronaldo the best him. player in the World Cup. Ronaldo has won the Ons Doll two times, while Messi has won it four times. That being sick. said, the most prestigious individual honor is the Ballon d'Or. As a result, Messi has six, while Ronaldo has five. Yeah. Interestingly, when Messi won his sixth Ballon d'Or, separating himself from Ronaldo, Ronaldo more popular, it was the first time that he ever popular. acknowledged he his competitiveness with Ronaldo, that. saying, when Cristiano Ronaldo to pulled level with me, I admit that it hurt him as I was no longer alone at the top. Yeah, but at that moment, that. he deserved the Ballon d'Or, and I couldn't do much more about it. As for the awards criteria, Messi wins another one. Messi better than him. I test. <laughs> I test was last one. Bro, bro, bro. This nigga just said Messi is better than. I think the eye test, test is Christian, what I would define as the best player to watch. I test. Seeing Ronaldo is something special. Like, what He's the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The better finishers. 
He can also use his head on his message. Dead ass fingers, a real. thing that your eyes will tell you, which you won't find in numbers, Messi, like, is that Ronaldo stuff, was probably like, a better player sure with not. Manchester mm -hmm. United. Indeed, his numbers weren't as good as afterwards, yeah, but he was scoring more free kicks. He dribbled a little watch better. Him, he scored outside the box more frequently. Yeah, you watch the Ate is him. Yeah, 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 the Ate is him. Kobe don't put on. I like Kobe. It ain't just the tricks. He get that. He get the goal. Yeah, he get the goal. He get the goal no matter what. But it ain't statistically. Just got proven Messi. No, I'm saying it's the though. We're talking about the Ates. All right, yeah. Messi scores more goals on that. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the Ates. Well, like, I'm talking about like, the Ates of a human see, like, versus, like, like, who? Like, if like, we watch them their entire career, like, it's going to show, like, dang, yeah. Messi really. Man, yeah, but I'll still say Ronaldo better every time. But he better, like, obviously, but I'm going to still say me. Like, just like LeBron better than Kobe, but I'm going to still say, like, I like Kobe. Obviously. It's a delusion. Uh, <laughs> just like. Who's like who you would rather play? I'd rather play against. I'd rather play against Messi than Ronaldo. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you would. So we just gotta see what he gotta say though about the about I his. Don't I'm talking about any human, any human in the world would rather play. Like, like on, I'm not see. playing against. Sorry. He was a more skilled I'm player not, all not. around. I just yet won. his totals at Man United pale compared to his at Real Madrid and Juventus. The reason why would that be can also be found in the ITS. The fact of the matter is, is that Ronaldo was better surrounded in Real Madrid and Juventus. There, a high rate of his goals came via tap-in, which is the type of goals that you didn't see him score very often with the Reds. That's nothing against him, some tap-ins require a great deal of skills even if they're not as enjoyable to watch. I hate tap the unpleasant side in Ronaldo's games lies in his volume of shots. As established before, compared to Messi, he has a lesser average goals per game while having the higher percentage shots per game. Sometimes he makes you wonder if he's a good In contrast, he gets you the best play possible for every possession. His mission is to have the ball in the goal by the end of the sequence, regardless of his intention. Yeah, the thing is, when I don't pass this team, he he rather shoot it. Get past him right there. In 2012, he's got an all-time record of 91 goals per game. He rather shoot away right there. He was in the field in 2019. He racked up an all-time record of 21 assists for a season. He's a purely positionless and selfless offensive player. Yeah, Ronaldo can conclude great plays. Yeah. Messi creates his own and remains the better finisher. Of the <laughs> Even though they have a close percentage in successful dribbles, seeing them play will reveal you that Messi is much more venturous with the ball. As you can see here, Messi takes the ball behind midfield. He dribbles through one, what is he wearing? two, Okay. Still with the ball. Three and four. He enters the last third of the pitch and makes a perfect pass to his teammate. Highlights won't show that, and basic stats cannot count this action. As dominant as Messi is in statistics, numbers don't really do him justice. If Messi dribbled like everybody else, he would simply never lose the ball. Or as Ray Hudson puts it. How do you put statistics on this, Phil? This isn't measurable. Because this is the art of human. Actions like this are the reason why Messi has the higher career average match rating and likewise the highest since the metrics inception. This is also why Messi has the highest number of men of the match and incidentally, the most since the metrics inception. Yeah, nobody catching up, Sam. Yeah. In the end, that tug of war is won by Messi. Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the greatest to ever lace up. Messi is just that Asian kid that's always better than you. You're not lying. Bro. Although it won't affect the scoreboard, I think it's the appropriate video to talk about the people's opinion on the topic. In the light of this video, I made a list of every known players, managers, owners, and commentators who expressed their side on the Messi-Ronaldo debate. Here's all the people I've found. Damn. Now. In all 141 personalities, 110 voted for Messi and 31 for Ronaldo. That is, if we account everybody mentioned. If we Bro, subtract oh the ones goodness. who played or coached one or the other to erase any possible conflict of interest, it's now 89 to 10. As for the public, the largest poll on the internet is found on the Messi vs. Ronaldo website, accounting for more than 1 million voices. Messi has 655,000 of them, while Ronaldo has 360,000. So, yeah, 
In other words, it's 65% to 35%. Like, so, like, what would you lose the goat? Well, I mean, it's obvious, but like, I'm, yeah, I think it's obvious. It's obvious. Yeah. Our guide saves obvious. the day. <laughs> like, you want to argue with people if you say that, right? Not on the goat. Like, you want to argue. Bro, with bro, yeah. bro. So, the niggas here and say Ronaldo's the greatest like soccer player of all time. They just want to. As I have the word go in the title, <laughs> some of you are probably irritated, maybe yeah, because argue, of man. two greats, Pele and Maradona. There's no way. On that account, how you do Messi and Ronaldo like said, compare to them? Let's see. Starting off with Maradona, both Messi and Ronaldo have better stats than him all across the board. In fact, they both have more start than with twice people. Maradona's goals total. That being said, when Maradona yeah, carried his team to a World Cup win, he seems to be the greatest ever. But he didn't maintain that level of playing outside the World Cup. You can see here that Maradona doesn't really rival Messi and Ronaldo's goals per nine minutes. You don't rival them at all. Stats don't no, really put Maradona rival. in the debate. He was more of a showman, so just like Maradona. Stats don't put him in the debate. You know, for a more recent Whoa. example. And as for his longevity, how much can we blame Flower? In my eyes, his career totals are simply insufficient. Conversely, with Pele, I'll start by saying this. In the years to come, as sports hold more history, GOAT debates will shift from the best player ever to the best player relative to his peers. Nowadays, of course players run faster, jump higher, shoot better. Is Messi a better player yeah, than Pele ever was? Yeah, in the future, the GOAT debate is going to be, well not GOAT, it's going to be like, who the best compared to his peers? Because yeah. after, say when LeBron is higher. It's nobody that's gonna touch Jordan or LeBron. Yeah. It's Luke at Lucas. Yeah, that's dead. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like Luke and niggas need to stop dead. doing that. that yeah. like, Even KD is dead. Like, stop. Y'all yeah, can y'all can do all that, but y'all ain't gonna never catch them niggas. That's what I'm saying. It's GG. Like a nigga like Tatum. He's not gonna catch. Brian. It's the same thing in soccer. Like Brian. you ain't catching Messi. It's GG. It's GG. You better. Play. Play. You might as well just get better. At, like like it's GG. Oh, like it's GG. You're ever the best player relative to his peers. Hey, like it's GG being the best. Nowadays, of course, players run faster, jump higher, shoot better. Cause I ain't gonna lie, it ain't. Is Messi a better player than Pele ever was? We ain't gonna. You Probably, no. it's but if the goal debate better. is about the most dominating player respective to his era, we have a debate. Three World Cups are hard to come by in any era. Yeah, a, As for their stats, Damn. at least the one they share, it's they're pretty period, similar. Era, but in like, recent history, Pele has made a fool of himself. Yeah. For over 40 years, Pele held the record for the most goals total and the most goals total for they one club. Prayers for him because he don't. Um, yeah, they're saying like he like uh, end of life care. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was so yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, in a span of two weeks, Messi broke one and Ronaldo the other. Dang. In the light of these achievements, Pele, with the help of his former club Santos, released a statement saying that his club total at Santos was actually in four figures at 1,091 goals. He also updated his Instagram bio saying that his goals total stands at 1,283. The thing is that 526 goals of that number would have come from unofficial friendlies and tour games. Funny enough, he even counted games he played in a military competition. In the eyes of the level-minded, Pele has 644 for a single club and 757 for a career. He is great, but not unreachable. Thank you for making it till the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first yeah, like somebody major video on this channel. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> Leave a like if you will. <laughs> Truly helps. Damn, that sound like Kareem. Bro, no cap. Kareem's sick. Oh, bro, I'm about to buy some. No cap. Messi versus Ronaldo, the best GOAT comparison. Mm -hmm. The old niggas don't want nobody passing them. Sheesh. The old niggas don't want you passing them. Well, I still got, I still got that. Sheesh. You know, they, they can still say that. No cap. They ain't gonna be able to say it after they get passed. <laughs> they ain't second. Yeah, after you pass it. When you second, ain't like. You can't do nothing about it. Because you, you can't get in there and try to get it. You can't do nothing about it. You can't get in there and catch up. This young man is in his yeah, prom. Yeah, you can't get in there and catch up. You just gotta watch it happen. You just gotta watch it happen. No cap. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Who the GOAT out of y'all? Messi or Renato? There's still a lot of people out there that think Renato the GOAT, though. Somehow, a lot somehow, of people. Somehow they think that. A lot of people. But I think that, yeah, that video just proved statistics. Yeah, it's, winning. it's proved everything. I tell nah, it proved yeah, everything. It definitely proved everything, for sure. Mm -hmm. so, so we want to hear no more of that, like, Renato the GOAT. 
That's cut out. He's sweet. I didn't say the goat. I just said like, I'll, <laughs> wait, wait, I'll no, he's him sweet as crazy. Yeah, yeah I still sweet. like. Like, what you mean? He fun to watch. Yeah, like he cool. I told you, like he do, uh, how you do it? How you do that? Alright, nah. He do that. He'll do it to you. Yeah, yeah he, he go. He go. Yeah, he met like he like one on one. He'll fuck dude up. Yeah, yeah. I think he fuck Messi up. Ronaldo fuck Messi yeah. up like one on one. What you mean? Like that's one hundred. Those two on opposite teams. Ronaldo going out for That's a fact. I think, nah, I think I'm think. So. i pretty sure Messi has a winning record against. Yeah, I guess with his team, with his team, same on one on one, like one on one. I mean, who a one on one in soccer? <laughs> but at the same time, like they, Messi's, they do. They do. Messi is a better. Messi, Messi is a I'm not. Messi is a better dribbler than who a one one. But Messi is who a one one basketball. But somebody, somebody's a, asking that right now. Messi is a better yeah. dribbler NBA and players. he's more accurate at scoring goals. Yeah, like against like a lot of people. I'm saying like. <laughs> so what you think you gonna do against one nigga? Against somebody that's. What you mean, one nigga? He's not just one nigga. Yes, he is. <laughs> That's <laughs> just showed he just one nigga. Come on. He's a victim. Ronaldo do that to him. He's literally a victim. Ronaldo do that to him. Bro, he's literally a victim. Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo. He's a victim of Messi's greatness. A victim is crazy. If he was doing this in any other era, we'd be like, oh my God, Ronaldo's the best on the planet right now. He can't say that. You'd be lying. About what? About Messi? If you sat here right now and said, dude, Ronaldo's the best in the fucking world right now. I mean, that, they, I would never say they that. They debate basically the Jordan and LeBron. I don't say nobody best in the world. I never told nobody that they were not even in hooping. Like, I don't say nobody best in the nah, world. No, I'm saying they debate basically so in the don't, NBA. So niggas don't You're say best he's in the, the NBA. You're best right there. Where you at? So niggas don't say he's the best player in the NBA. Niggas say he's the best player in the NBA right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you that's say, literally like, what's the best crazy in the world. Like, he's the best in the world. Like, Right. No, it's not. Cause it's, no, because it, 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 it's certain niggas that don't got like, okay, bro. Yeah, six, six that in school. Right. That's better too. Like I know, like it's some niggas in the world. Like I'm not an idiot. Like, There's people in the world that's better than those two. Bro, come on, bro. come on. Why are they not? Why are they not? Why because they, they might. They, they don't. They probably don't bro. even know that that exists. They that's be, the end of the video. Like, that's the end of the video, else. man. Y'all, let us know what y'all think in the comments. Messi, Messi, or not who y'all got? Let us know in the comments. Make sure y'all like this video. If y'all enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if y'all new, man. Let's get it. It's real talk TV.